today we are going to discuss the remaining commands in the home menu of Microsoft Excel. Here, first of all, we have styles command. This is an interesting command. Let's see it. Uh, it's command one by one, styles tab. First of all, it contains the conditional formatting. Conditional formatting means to format something on the basis of a logical condition. Let's see. For example, we have text here uh, that contains numeric data. I have selected this area and now I want to apply the formatting on the numbers which are greater than 90. I want to apply the formatting over the text on numbers which are greater than 90. For that purpose, I'll go to the conditional formatting. I'll click uh, highlight rules. Here we have greater than rule. This is called the greater than rule. In this greater than rule, I'm going to type 90. The cells which contain 90 or greater than 90 must be in which color? I say this should be green. This should be green in color. Green fill with dark green text. Now it looks better. I'll click OK. Now you can see that my text contains green fill and with dark, uh, dark green that numbers which are greater than 99. Now, I want to show those numbers highlighted which are between uh, 33 and 89. Okay, minimum amount will be 33 and maximum will be 89 or 90. Let's see how to apply formatting over that. For that purpose, I'll go to the highlight rules and here we have a rule of between. This is rule of between I can apply between rule over here I say that minimum amount is 33 and maximum amount is 90 for these text I need I need I need I need formatting uh, I will click the custom format and uh, I say that uh, these text will contain the border outline border and uh, these text will have uh, border color of blue and the fill color for the text will be uh, you can choose any color from here for example I'm going to uh, choose the this one color now I'll click OK now you can see that the persons who have topped are shown with green the person who are only pass are shown with blue now these few numbers are remaining here I'm going to apply some rule over here also for that purpose I'm going to highlight rules again and now I'll choose the rule of less than I say the cells that contains the value of less than 33 must be red Uh, with red fill and red background okay now these reds are failures these are the person who have passed and these are the person who have got distinction okay this is the way we can apply the formatting on the base of condition now I don't need any of these formatting I'll clear these formatting how I'll go to this button clear and here we have option clear formats this clear is found in editing tab okay conditional formatting not only contains the highlight rules it contains uh, some other values also for example data bars I can apply any type of data bar from here that data bar also highlights which number is greater which is medium and which is smaller you can remove the data bars by clicking undo now I'm going to apply the data scales. These scales are also highlighting the text with respect to their value. I can also apply the icon sets over here. Here are the icon sets which are showing me the growing numbers, the equal numbers or middle numbers and the uh, numbers that are declining or going down. Okay, with the help of arrows. If you don't need any of these formatting, just select the text and go to clear and click clear formats. Formatting will be erased. 
these are some clear formatting rules you can define your own rule by clicking new rule also next option is format as a table what does it do let's select some sheet over here and go to format as a table you can choose any table of the table style for example i need this table style it looks nice and sleek let's click ok you can see that your text is formatted in that table style and every cell contains a highlight button over here that is the filter button for example i want to choose the record of ali bilal and daud only i can see the records of ali bilal and daud no one other is selected over here this is the advantage of filter i can select all also we can choose from the roll numbers also for example i say that i need the record of roll number 124 it will show only the record of 124 if i want to display all the records i'll go to the roll number again and click select all it will display me all of the records over here next option is to remove this table formatting for that purpose okay you can apply also these things uh, in the table design menu you can change the design of your table like you have changed in microsoft word if you don't need this table design go to the home go to the clear command and click clear formats it will remove all the formats from your text or you can press undo from your keyboard and remove the table format next to that what we have got this is the cell styles this is also an interesting command for example i need some colors for this heading i have selected my heading portion and now i'll go to the select styles and i want to apply this bluish scheme over the heading you can see that now my background of my heading is blue and the text is in white now i want to apply formatting for name i uh, i'll go to cell styles and i want this to be in this green format i want to apply the same formatting for here on remarks i'm going to choose the formatting for remarks now i want to choose some formatting for the totals i have selected the text and i choose a style for totals i want to choose this formatting style for uh, obtained and percentages also you can choose any format style from cell styles and apply it over your text that you have selected this is how you can apply the formats next to that you have got the button of insert delete and format what are these let's see them one by one for example i need a single column here at this spot before english i have selected cell of english and now i'll click insert insert sheet columns now you can see that i have got a single column before that column if i want two columns i will select two columns if i want three columns i will select and then i'll click the same command again insert sheet columns you can see that extra three columns are added over here if i want one row above that span i'll go to that option and i'll click insert sheet rows you can see that i have got one row over span if i want two or three rows or four rows now i have selected four rows and i need rows four rows above these rows i'll click insert sheet rows you can see that four extra rows are added over here if i want an extra sheet i can also click option insert sheet insert sheet will add an extra sheet in my file if i don't need that sheet i'll go to the same uh, uh, next to that that is delete delete sheet will remove my sheet that i have added if i don't want these rows i'll select the extra rows and i'll go to the command delete sheet rows i can also click delete cells this also removes the extra rows and columns select the extra column and go to delete and click delete cells or select the extra columns go to the button delete and click delete columns it will delete the extra columns from your sheet 
Next option is about the formatting. That was insertion and deletion in the cells tab. Formatting means to apply height, width, colors on your rows and columns. Let's see. For example, these are uh, marks for different subjects. I think these cells are larger in size. I want to reduce their size, their width. Okay. For that purpose, I'll go to format and here we have got column width. Column width. In this cell, I'm going to choose uh, this default width is 8.43. I want to apply the width of 5 points only. I'll just click and you can see that the size of my cells is now changed. I can also choose or select my cells a single row or column. Okay, now I have selected only one row and I'll go to the same button format and here I want to change the row height. I'll click row height and we have got the default height of 15. I want it to be 30 points. I click OK. Now you can see that the height of my row is changed. I can apply format column width also. I want a column width of 10 points for each column over here or for example column width of 25 points for each column here. You can see that I have applied <coughs> the column width in that row and you can see that all of my rows have the same column width. Now if you don't want this just go to the same button again and click auto fit the row height, auto fit the column width, your column and row will have default width and height again. Next is show and height. For example, I don't want to show these cells. I just want to show obtain marks, percentage and grade in this. I have selected some cells that I don't want to show on my sheet. I'll go to the format and I'll click height and unhight and height columns. Now you can see that my columns are hidden. I can click unhide columns to show my columns again for example i don't want to show the last five records i have selected the records and now i'll go to hide and unhide and i'll click hide rows here my rows are hidden and i can see only five records in my sheet if i don't want to uh, hide them i'll go to the same button again i'll click unhide rows there is another option also that is hide sheet. Now you have goes, gone, uh, got two sheets, sheet one and sheet two. I don't want to show sheet two. I'll go here and click hide and hide and hide sheet. Now you can see only one sheet in your workbook. If you want to bring it back, go to the format, hide and unhide and click unhide sheet. You can unhide your given sheet also. Next to that, we have got another option that is rename sheet. In this rename sheet, you can change the name of your sheet. For example, I want to ap apply this name, result sheet. You can see it very well that I have renamed my sheet. Move or copy sheet is used to move or copy your sheets. For example, I want to create a copy of this sheet I will click create a copy move to end create a copy and move to end now you can see that I have two result sheets result sheet result sheet 2 I have created a copy of my sheet next to that we have got uh, another option that is tab color tab color can apply any color over your sheet you can see the tab color is now blue it's not gray by default Okay, just go to format and choose any tab color that you want to apply on your tab of sheet. Okay, next to that we have got the command protect sheet. Protect sheet can apply the protection password over your sheet. Let's see how we can apply it. Just click protect sheet. Click all of these options. Select, format, insert, delete, sort, filter, Power table, edit object, edit scenarios. These all options will be locked. Now apply a password. Now I want to apply a password 123. Click OK. Then apply password again and click OK. Now you can type 
nothing on this sheet. You can also remove no data from your sheet. It is now protected. Now you can also not apply the formatting or colors on your text or sheet. Okay. This will be removed when you will close the file. If you don't want this protection, just go to the same button and click unprotect sheet and apply your password. One, two, three, it will be unprotected. Now you can type and you can delete your data. Next to that, you have got an op another option for protection that is lock cell. It will lock the selected cell. You cannot move it anywhere on your sheet. You can undo it by pressing Ctrl Z from your keyboard. Next option is format cells. Format cells, uh, this has been discussed earlier also, but I'm going to discuss it again. Just click format cells and you can change the alignments of your cells from here. For example, I have changed the alignments of my cells. Now you can also use this to change the cell style. For example, this is general. I want to apply the currency style. It will be converted to currency. You can press undo also. And these all options have been font, border, fill, protection have been discussed earlier in font menu. Okay. This was styles and cells menus in the home menu. And after that, you can see uh, some little commands also over here. Let's see them one by one also. These are about uh, applying formula. Let's see. I have copied some text and I'm going to paste it over here. Now I want to apply formula for the sum for this row. I want to apply the formula uh, automatically, not manually now. Okay. I'll click at the end of any row and I'll click auto sum. Here we have got the formula of sum. I'll just click sum and press enter. Okay. I can choose the formula for average and this is demanding the range. I will select the cells for the average range. Now I'll press enter. You can see that the average is calculated. I can also apply the formula for count and I'll give it the range of this row and press enter. I can also apply the formula for maximum. It is selecting the range by default. You can select the cells of your choice also. Okay. We can also apply the formula for our minimum and select the range for our own choice. Now you can see that all formulas have been applied successfully. You can click any of the formula and see the formula in your formula toolbar. If you want to apply a formula over your column, just select a column and go to our sum button and choose any formula and press enter. Select the column. Choose the formula and press enter to apply the formula directly or automatically. These are the formulas for sum, average, maximum and minimum. Okay. Now, another command is fill. What is fill? Fill means to add data. For example, I have uh, typed some data over here. I want to fill it down in this way. I'll go to fill down. You can see that it has been filled. I want to fill it here. What is it? It is the left of sheet. So I'll go to fill and click left. I'm going to fill it on the right. I've selected some blank cells and click right. I can also fill up. Okay. And there is another interesting option also. What is that? That is fill series, fill series and I'll click OK. Now you can see a series of numbers. This was fill. After fill, we have got a command clear and you are well aware of it. Clear can remove the data. Clear all will remove the selected data from your sheet. As I have removed some data over here, clear all will remove the selection or given data. Now, 
in this clear we have got another option also that is about clear formatting for example i don't need any formatting over this sheet i'll go to clear and click clear formats it will remove all the formats from my sheet this clear can also do something this like clear contents it will also remove all the selected data okay this is all about the clear next is sorting sort means to bring data uh, in ascending or descending order for example i have got some data over here and it is arranged in ascending order from smaller to larger i want it to be in descending order i'll select the column i'll go to the sort and click smallest to largest or largest to smallest for example largest to smallest now you can see that largest number is on the top and smallest number is on the bottom <clears throat> you can select it again and go to the same button and click uh, smallest to largest you can see the formatting is now changed find and select you are well aware of it also for example i want to find what i want to find two here it will find two on my sheet and it is finding all the cells that contain two okay replace you can also use the replace button to replace something for example i want to change word two with 62 now you can see that it is now 62 another option is go to go to means i want to go to cell number a1 you can see that i am at cell number a1 I'll select it again and click go to and now I want to go to cell number A. This one. You can see that I am at 10 lakh 48,500 number cell. Okay. I will just click go to again and I'll type A1. It will take me to cell number A1 again. This is go to command. And this was all about the home menu of Microsoft.